Hello, Revere, and welcome to December show, the Revere Senior News. I have my co-host, director of the Revere Senior Center, Steve Fielding, and you have some special information to give out today. Hi, Morris. How are you? Thank you. Merry Please. Christmas, now that we're into the December season, huh? Right. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and to all the others, a happy holiday. Right. And uh, we had a great Thanksgiving, and uh, particularly at the Senior Center, we had a great Thanksgiving dinner, and here we are, December. Go ahead. Do you have a couple of things? We have a few things to announce. Um, I'm going to give some key important dates um, for people who come to the center or some activities that are happening at the Senior Center before I talk about our Christmas luncheon and our special guests that will be there that day as well, okay? Yep. All right. So I just want people to know out there that in December, on the 7th of December, we have the Senior Book Club and it will be held from 2.30 to 3.30 on December 7th, a very important date in our history, Pearl as you Harbor, know, right. Pearl Harbor Day. Um, also, I want people to realize who are on Medicare and may want to make a uh, change to their policy or to make some changes that's to their the Medicare day. Advantage plan. Exactly. That's the last day that you're allowed to do that. So if you haven't done that and um, you want to do that, uh, before December 7th, you can call 781-286-8156. That's the senior center number. And if you can't um, get an appointment on uh, at the senior center prior to that date, you can call 1-800-243-4636, okay? And that is in contact with the Shine uh, counselor. Right. Okay, so also we have a uh, blood pressure and consultation uh, that's being held twice this month, again, December 7th and December 21st from 11 to 12, and our nurse, Carol Donovan, our uh, city nurse, will be down to do that. She's from the Board of Health. We have a monthly hearing program with hearing aids by Mary Marino, and Mary Marino, who has the he uh, Affordable Hearing Aids Company, will be at the center on Thursday, December 19th, she was usually there between 10 and 12. Uh, Barbara McDonald, our chair masseuse, will be at the Rossetti Cowan Senior Center on Monday, December 11th, 2017. And she's usually there in the morning. And we also have Dr. Kaplan, who is the uh, podiatrist. And we have a monthly podiatry clinic that takes place every first Monday of the month in December. It's December 6th. And he's there very early. No appointments. You just come in, sign up a sheet, and it's first come, first serve. And he'll stay until every toe is clipped. Also, I just want to make uh, one important announcement, and this is in regard to our uh, weather cancellation policy at the Senior Center. We've been very fortunate thus far. We haven't had any of the white stuff. In the event that we have inclement weather, I want to read the, the policies that seniors out there will be able to follow, okay? Yep. All right. <clears throat> the Rosetti Cowan Senior Center will be closed, and the senior shuttle van service will not operate whenever the Revere Public Schools are uh, closed or canceled due to inclement weather. Please be advised that if the weather is creating a commuter problem, regardless of whether schools are open or not, you really should call the center at 781-286-8156 for an update. And um, we do post this uh, in the newsletter that you may find in various retail outlets, city hall, post office throughout the city. And we also post it on Revere TV, of course. Um, just want to make one quick announcement because it's so important with the special guest that we're going to have here today. I think if he shows up, if he remembers, he's very busy. But on December 19th, we have a um, Senior Center Christmas luncheon. And we've had great ones in the past, right? You betcha. So we have a full agenda. We have um, Santa coming at 1030 for pitches with seniors. And then we have a nice lunch. We're going to have a baked ham lunch with all the trimmings. And then we have a guy that you know. In fact, you introduced me to him. Mr. Lou Seriani. Lou Seriani, and he's got a phenomenal baritone voice, very deep, loud voice, and he's very, um, very strong on many songs that the seniors like. So, and he'll obviously he'll sing some Christmas tunes as well. 
Okay. By the way, I think I hear someone coming, and I hear a... Um, it's got to be Santa because he was supposed to be here. I hear the bells. I think I hear bells. They're getting louder and louder. What's happening? Oh, oh my gosh. Look who's here. Santa Claus is here. What an honor and a pleasure. Wow. Santa, Anna, let me ask you. Did you have a rough trip from the North Pole? Hi, Hi Santa. Why don't I take that mic for you? Thank you. Since this is an informal show, we can just say we're going to put the mic right here. Thank you. There Tell you us, go. Santa, could you do me a favor, sir? Tell us a little about yourself, how the trip was from the North Pole here, because it's no easy thing. But I, and also answer my question, why do you only come once a year? Well, <clears throat> and it just so happens that I happen to be very, very busy <laughs> every day, going here, going there, taking care of this one, taking care of that one. It's so busy, I don't know what else to do. I heard something this morning when I found out that you would be coming because we don't have any snow yet, so obviously he didn't take the reindeer. You took a helicopter, landed at the high school football field? Correct. Over on Park Ave, and then took the senior shuttle over here to the Revere TV studios? Yes. Is that true? That's true. There wasn't any other th thing I could do. Really? That's Think fantastic. You know, I have to tell you this, Santa. You are the only true, real Santa in the whole world. I don't care what they have out oh. there, but you are the real McCoy. Oh. Now, a couple of years ago, you promised me something. You think I might see it this Christmas? Because I wasn't here last Christmas. That's why. <clears throat> I would say you, you're going to get it. <laughs> you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah. If I'm he doesn't, if, he don't, if you don't give it to him, somebody else will. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're right. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that promise. Okay. Okay. So, can you share with us what he was supposed to give you? He was supposed to bring me, folks, don't get excited, a beautiful Rolls Royce, was it? Yes, it was. But, yes, it was. But since uh, you had it last year for me, because I know you had it, but I wasn't here to receive it. Right. So you gave it to some veteran, I believe. I did. That was I nice did. of you. Yes, I did. And hopefully we can take care of you this year. I hope so. And by the way, I'd like to ask you one thing. I know you're a busy man, like you say. Would you wish Mrs. Santa Claus for me a Merry Christmas, please? Oh, no problem. Oh, yes, okay. I'd be glad. I don't know how she puts up with you, uh, oh, Mrs. Santa. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know her then. I huh? do know her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know Mrs. Claus? I, I do. I do. I've never met Mrs. Claus, but oh. I, from what I hear, she's a fantastic lady. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do have to say, you know, I had this big present that I was really hoping to get done at the senior center for all the seniors, a, a nice big present for them. Unfortunately, for you, but not for us. We had it already corrected. Oh. So for anybody out in the audience who was wondering what's happening with our front brick facade, our uh, ramp, and our stairs, I was hoping that Santa would, you know, sprinkle that stardust and mm -hmm. everything would be uh, taken care of. But we did have all that taken care of, yes. and it's all in working order and completed oh. right before Christmas. How's yeah, that? That's wonderful. It is. That really. I, I, and I know you're busy, so it would have been tough to get that done. Yes. Right? Yes, it would have been. Yes. Really. And you that's great. Me. But you know what, Santa? I know you're a busy man, but if you could take some time off someday and go see the people at the Revere City Hall or in the mayor's office, they did a beautiful job. I mean, there's, you know, at this job, fixing the railings and stuff, yes. but there's also a problem in the back, the parking lot, oh. and people do fall over and trip. It's like a, how can you say, like a tornado hit it. Mm -hmm. You think with your clout you might be able to do something well, for I us? Can, I can ask the right people. You can, can ask the left people, too, if you want. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I know if I was in the mayor's office and I was a developer and there was some talks going on, I would negotiate with that developer to come mm. and do that parking lot as part of the... Uh, that would be great. You know that I mean, we'd have to get the city council involved in that as well. I'm not putting it on the mayor's office, uh -huh. but I'm just saying um, I'm sure there's ways to do it. I have to tell you, Santa, everyone that's on the city council someday is going to be a senior citizen if they're not there already. Yes. And they're going to come to the senior center either to say hello, to have a cup of coffee, and by the way, they should come for the food. The food is out delicious there. So tell us a little about that. Well, I know the guy that puts the menu together, and I'll tell you, he puts a good menu together. Do, well, let's hear about <laughs> that. <laughs> yes, he does. Hey, you want a sample? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I mean, this is what we're going to have on the Christmas lunch that you will be present at, right? Yes, yes. We're going to have baked ham, 
with pineapple raisin sauce, mashed potatoes. Ooh. I know you're getting hungry listening to um, this. My mouth's watering. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed vegetables, cranberry sauce, and a special Christmas dessert. And it won't be reindeer pie. I can assure uh -oh. you of that. <laughs> Thank God. With milk, coffee, tea, and somebody gave me Zambuco, but I don't think I can have it at the senior center. That's great. So that's a sample of a, a nice meal, and that's the Christmas lunch meal. It's only $4. Because Santa will be there for picture taking. No charge for the pictures, right? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. And it might even be a different Santa, right? No, no don't even go that way. Uh, I will go. go okay, go if, you're under, if you're under the age of 12, you didn't hear that? The real one is right here. The real one is here. <laughs> right, right here. Okay. I don't um, want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> right. And then you have that lunch right after the picture taking. Yes. And <laughs> this is a hard show to do, I'm telling you. No, it's it's it a struggle. <laughs> We've got plenty of stuff to do. And then we have Lou, Lou performing. Lou Seriani is going to perform some wonderful songs. He might even sing Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Town right? Yes. Well, is that oh, your favorite, oh, I would think? Oh, that's that. Mm -hmm. Santa, oh. excuse me, when people, when you walk in, do a lot of people play for you like, Here Comes Santa Claus? Sure. Would you Absolutely. like to hear that? Yes. I have a friend of mine who was at the senior center. Well, actually, he's my twin brother. The identical twin, but oh. he's a stupid one. Yeah. He'll, I'll have him play Here Comes Santa Claus. Oh, really. that'd be good. Okay. Really. So how is Rudolph? Is, is, he, is his nose shining yet? or is oh, it? I would say yes. You would say I yes? I would say yes. Yeah. Yes. And he's, he's ready for that he's long ready. journey. He is ready. Right. And your yeah. elves, um, they're working hard, I would say. Working hard. Working hard. Really. Really. And we need the weather. We do need the weather. Well, right. Right. But so when you when you go over Hawaii and then you're rounding around to Australia and you're coming up and around the earth and you start hitting those cold climates, I mean, how do you adjust to that? Well, you just keep moving one way, <laughs> another way. Just keep moving. You know, you're the smartest Santa. That's why I know you're the real one. And I'll tell you why I can say that on the air. Because you have a suit here that you can adjust with the temperature. It has a th thermostat there. So if it's cold, you can turn it up. If yes. it's hot, you can turn it down. Uh, yes. All right. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, it is. So uh, it's it wonderful is. to have the Christmas spirit, right, Morris? Yep. It's great to have you here with us because you. you bring so much joy and happiness. It kind of reminds me of this place that all the seniors in Revere come to or should come to, right, Morris? They should come to the Revere Senior Center, the Rosetti Cowan Senior Center. And why it, don't a, they? Why I wish, don't they? I mean, we always want people to come. Oh, definitely. We always want definitely. people to come. Now, Santa, I have to ask you, since you are the real Santa, and if you look around outside, there's a lot of, well, not as great as you, but a lot of Santas who are mostly senior citizens themselves, they should come to our Senior Center. Yes, they should. Right. All but, you have to do is be 60 years or older. Exactly. We yes. have, we have a view. You, uh, well, what about this, Santa? Are you 60 years old, sir? Uh, yes, I am. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes, then you're all set. So yes. we, just I to let make. people out there know why Santa is recommending you come to the Senior Center is because we have great programs, activities, services. We have a nice shuttle service. We have to get you to and from the center or to and from appointments. We also have a great lunch every day. And it's, yeah. no, it's a commercial kitchen right in the Senior Center, unlike many Senior Centers who have meals brought in by a caterer, right? Yes. I mean, you've, you've been there. Oh, so I have. You, you've experienced yes. the macaroni, the eggplant, all the Italian e everything. stuff. You, you, you like the uh, ribs. You like the veal cutlets. You like the fish. We have big salmon on the man menu for uh, You forgot to mention one December. thing, the kosher sausages. The, the, oh. Actually, we have the old neighborhood franks, those big yeah. hefty franks that people love. And uh, that's a favorite. I have to tell you. Chicken. The sausage you had the other day was a meal in itself. Well, you know why? I'm ordering the barbecue size. So they're, they're like twice the size yeah. of the regular sausage. And um, I do that for a reason because I found that, you know, this is the main meal for a lot of seniors. So when, it they, is, right. when, they go, they, when they come to the senior center, whether it's for a few hours or just for the lunch, when they go home, they don't feel like cooking for one. You know, even two people who are living right. together. You know, it's quite an adjustment for them, and they don't feel like making a big meal. So this is perfect. So if they have a, a big meal like with this big, huge it's Italian sausage, peppers, onions, etc. You know, breakfast and dinner. Yeah. Right. And people don't realize, we talk about them. They can also come in in the morning for breakfast. Uh, for, not for breakfast, but well, for, yeah. for, uh, for bagels and coffee. We have bagels, coffee. English um, muffins. English muffins. Croissants. All kinds of pastry. Yep. I just want to 
thank a, a special group that provides that to the seniors. Please do. It's the Caring Hearts Ministry out of the Congregational Church in Revere. And the person responsible for donating that food is Carol DeSantis, a very lovely woman. And um, she knows how vital it is for seniors to have a good meal in the morning. And she makes sure she comes once a week. And she provides a lot of things for us. I'd like to mention one thing since you mentioned the Congregational Church. Yeah. Pastor Nick, who yes, put sir. on a Thanksgiving dinner for the veterans and people. Yes. Not only for the veterans, for veterans and non-veterans. Pastor Nick, you did a terrific job. Right. Thank you, and have a Merry Christmas. All right. yep. So, um, you know, one of the things we're talking about, having people come to the Senior Center, one of the things that we do every month is a special lunch. And I mentioned the December 19th Christmas lunch. You have to call and make a reservation for that. The day before, uh, Steve? Oh, no, no, even no. beforehand. You know why? We can only accommodate about 90 to 95 people in that dining hall. And... Um, so I asked people, we used to have to have people come in and put money down ahead of time so we would have a count. And I've kind of been a little bit lenient with that. If you want to come to the Christmas luncheon, you have to at least call up and tell us you're coming. And when you come in, you just pay $4 and you get all that um, food and right. you get the entertainment. Right. And we have a couple other ones lined up already for January. We have uh, Steve the Dude Capano who is a, um, a DJ, yep. and we're going to have a, uh, uh, a welcome New Year's uh, dance party. And it will be similar to the Halloween one we had, which was a great disco party with DJ George, remember? Yep. And then is in, he coming back eventually? Yeah, we are, I'm definitely going to have him back. I'm trying to work out a date with him, or dates. Yes, he was excellent. And on February 27th, we have Joey Bebop coming. And you know Joey, and uh, everybody loves the way he sings, and he's a great entertainer as well. We had we just got uh, we just had a great one, Mr. Costanzo, I believe it's John Costanzo. Costanzo. Yep, yep, yep. He put on a great performance. Yep. Um, another thing, I, I I suppose I should just mention it right now, and it's a little premature, but I did mention it on the last show that you'll be getting a new Medicare card, and that'll be mailed out to you from the government in, between April um, by April twentieth, okay, of this year. And it may even uh, continue to be mailed out throughout the year. And a new Medicare card will be removing the Social Security number from the Medicare card. And um, that will keep your information more secure. And it will help get you a Medicare number that will be only unique to you, like the Social Security number. And that's a feature that a lot of people have asked over the years uh, for the government to do. And they are going to do it. Um, if you need uh, information regarding this new card, you can call 1-800-325-0778. And uh, you can ask any kind of question you want about this new special Medicare card. Or you can stop by the Senior Center. I have information on that, and the staff will be happy to share that as well. Wow. Isn't that That's great, good. Santa? That is now, Morris, I think you had some tidbits that you want to share, right, about uh, the month of December? Yeah, the one thing I want to share, since um, Santa, I hate to ask you this, but I know you've been around a long time, but during the war years, you were around too, right? Yes. December the 7th was a day of infamy, as President Roosevelt declared it. That was Pearl Harbor Day. Can I ask you, where were you on that day, if you remember? I know where I was. I was out playing baseball in the field when my mother dragged me in, but where were you on December I was up in the north, up in the north. Uh, getting ready for getting, the holidays? Getting ready to do all the things that I get, have to do during and before and during Christmas. And yes. I want to say one thing. You did a great job during the war years to go around and visit our troops. So, Santa, I want to thank you for that. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. That's one of the little tips that I would like to mention for you. Thank you. Okay. The 4th, December the 4th through the 8th, is National Older, Older Driver Safety Week. Mm -hmm. So when you come with the reindeers, do you run into any traffic problems with the phony Santas? Uh, you, you definitely do. And yes. what do you do then? Well, you have to hit a few of them, you know. Well... You know. I, I have to give you some warning, though, talking about hitting uh, the Santas and things. I know you're on the sleigh, and it's in the middle of the night. We have a turkey issue in Revere, 
So I hope you're going to be on the lookout for turkeys when you come to oh, the rooftops and God. hope that you don't hit a turkey that might be up in a pole or on a wire or near a pole. Right. You know the turkeys are running rampant in Revere, right? I was oh, just yeah. going to say I heard that. <laughs> just yes. a whole bunch. I'm glad you mentioned. You know, I thought Suffolk Downs was a racetrack. I think it's a turkey trap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. There's a whole load they, over there. Really? There is. Yeah. There was a whole bunch over there. Really? But they wouldn't even let me go near there and say hi to the turkeys and talk to them because they said I had a foul mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. You know, that's Santa, good. Oh, my God. You only come here once a year, but I have to listen to this guy every uh, day. Oh, yeah. God, you got to put boy. up with me. <laughs> that's what. That's why he has hardly any hair left. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Santa. Oh my. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, can I say one more? You got something, Steve? Yes. Go right ahead. You know, people don't notice. Oh my God! The ninetieth the ninetieth anniversary birth of singer Randy Williams, nineteen twenty seven to two thousand twelve takes place on December the 3rd. Did you know that? No. Yep. December the 3rd. Yep. Well, that's uh, <laughs> very soon. I know that. And so is December the 7th, which is only a few days away few days. next week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next week. Yes. Now, on any of your excursions, do you ever take Mrs. Claus with you, or she's always up there in the North Pole? No, I don't take her. I'm afraid to take her, really. She, and she keeps pretty busy. Up right. there, yes. Let me ask you a question. You heard about the delicious food we have at the senior center. Oh, yes. What do you have up on the North Pole for food? Don't tell me icebergs. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> well, there's always, uh, there's always some good things to eat. Really. Frozen food? Uh, well, you know, there's a lot, of <laughs> wild, a lot of wild animals, you know. We got them at the senior <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is watch Revere TV and check out the last... Thanksgiving Day party that we had. That was great. That oh, was great. You saw God. how. And if you looked in uh, October, you saw all those seniors dancing with all those costumes. That was yep. 60 yes. seniors dressed up for Halloween, you yes. know, Santa Claus. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We have yes. a senior that's going to be celebrating his 100th birthday. His 100th birthday? Yep. We lost one of, while I was away, Mr. Santoro, who celebrated his 103rd. He would have been 104. Right. Because it's coming February. Yes. So I miss him. Any Anthony? Oh. Is That's he, are you sure it's the yeah. 100th, is it? It's yeah. going to be 100th in February, he, he, I think. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he comes every day. He's wow. quite a singer, too. You're, you're trying to catch him. No, no, no. He, he, My creator will see that I don't. I'm sure oh. of that. But you know something I like about Anthony? He came over to me and he says, Morris, I'd like to use the microphone. I said, it's there for all of us to use. He picked it up. And for 20 minutes, he sang to the people up oh, there. And he was great. God. He enjoyed it. See. And then he hung it up, and he came over to me. He says, oh, man, was that great. I says, what you say? He says, oh, man. I says, oh, you're <laughs> talking like a kid now. <laughs> he says, oh, man, that was great. See, at the oh. senior center, right? Yep. I mean, I have that mic down there. Yep. Anybody can use it. Right. You've heard of karaoke nights. We have yep. karaoke days. So when everybody gets the urge to sing, all we have to do is turn on that mic, and they can either handhold it or just leave it sure. in, the, in, the, in the mic stand. Right. And uh, some people do have some nice voices, I have to say. You know, uh, i got to tell you, I come from New York originally, Santa. I hope that's, you don't hold sad. that against that's me. That's very no, sad. I, I, won't. I know I won't. that. Okay. I would like to see some of the Boston Red Sox or Patriot Center play it down to our senior center to say hello to our seniors because they always talk how they love the teams, but nobody ever comes down to see them. Now, when I lived in New York, we did have a couple of Yankees come down to see us kids in school sure. when I went to school. One of them, I think, was Phil Rizzuto that used to play for the Yankees, oh, yes. and the other one was the great, great, great one, Joe DiMaggio. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. You, by the way, had a brother that played for the Red Sox. He did. Dominic. 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 And he had a brother that played for the Pirates, Vince. Ba right. That's Speaking right. of Dominic, how is Dominic the donkey doing? Oh, <laughs> ching it a ching. <laughs> I don't know. Good, good. <laughs> don't bring Dominic the donkey. You know why? He's made a jackass out of himself. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I won't bring him. <laughs> oh, look, we got three and a half minutes. Steve, if you got something important, blast it. Well, I always have something to say, whether it's good or bad, but I do want to invite any senior who is even curious about what's going on at the Rossetti Cowan Senior Center at 25 Winthrop Avenue. 
come down, have a tour, talk to the staff, talk to other seniors, see what we have. You shouldn't be in your house alone. Four walls is not good for anybody. Mm -hmm. You will meet people, socialize, even if you come to listen to the music played by either Morris or Norris, Morris? Whoever. Whoever. Oh, right. You will enjoy yourself just to get out and socialize and be with people. I would like to say one thing. I had a guest prior up here from the Chelsea Soldier Home where we have a lot of elderly people, and she has a place there called Music Therapy, and all they do is play music for the seniors. Now, they can come down to our senior center, request the song they want. We'll put it on for them. If I don't, my brother will, but one of us will one do us it. One of us will. Right. Right. Santa, would you like to say a few words? Take a couple of minutes if you would like to mention what you have in the future for us. Well, I, I have to tell you, it's going to be very, very busy. I really don't have any time to just sit and relax. I, I have to go here. I have to go there. I have to see this one. I have to see that one. And I have to bring Are there any all people you don't want to see? <clears throat> I hate to say yes, but... Don't mention their name. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, but uh, all in all, I'm very lucky. I'm, I'm blessed. I am I'm blessed. blessed to have you. Yes. I am yes. blessed to have you. Would you like to say a few words before I close? No, I just want to wish both of you a very Merry Christmas, Happy oh, Hanukkah. Thank you. And, and uh, Happy Kwanzaa. Oh, okay. We have oh, them. Boy. All right. We have boy. those three. And move. for the people who practice a religion that we're not too familiar with, a happy holiday to one and all. all That's right, what I like right, to say. It Would you like to wish the people out there something? Oh, just I, leave me 20 uh, seconds. Oh, I, all right. I want to wish each and every person that happens to be watching at this time happy, happy, happy holidays. And really be thankful for everything that you have because we are very, very lucky to be here today. Thank you. Thank you, Santa, and I want to say God bless you for coming, and I hope, God willing, I have to see you again next year. Would you like to say one more to the people? Mm -hmm. No, I just want to say, you know, again, you know, come on down. Right. You know, and that, it's the most important thing you, you can do for yourself. And I would like to say God bless both of you. Thank you. And God bless our people, especially our troops overseas and out here. And most of all, God bless our great country, the United States of America. Until the next time, Revere people, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the show because we did have a great guest, two great guests, Santa Claus and head of the Revere Senior Center, Steve Fielding. Thank you.